It's April 1st, 2019, about uh, 16 months since the Thomas fire ended. This whole area was heavily burned. We're looking at Lake Casitas here. The rains of last winter and then this winter have actually worked pretty well to help the vegetation recover. One, uh, the vegetation, two, the water level in Lake Casitas. So Lake Casitas, this was built in 1958. It first, water first topped the dam, so first completely filled the reservoir in uh, 1978. Water last overtopped the dam in 1998. So it's been more than 20 years since we've seen a, a complete, complete filling of the lake, but, but we have seen a significant recovery in the last um, last two years, particularly this last year. So right now, or as of this morning, this was just under 45% full. That's still, you know, it's still pretty low, but um, it's been a dramatic improvement from the drought years. So more water in the lake, more vegetation uh, on the surrounding hillsides. Most of this vegetation we're seeing here is um, Certainly around the road, there's a lot of non-native uh, uh, invasive grasses like these, like these bromes, uh, bromus diandris, etc. But there's a fair amount of native uh, herbaceous cover also throughout this area. So there's some wild rye over there I can see. There's, uh, there's some blue dicks. Uh, there's some vinca uh, and other, other sort of quick successional, early successional species that have come into this area, which is great. So, so not perfect, but a pretty nice recovery over the last two years, driven by the amount of rainfall that we've had. And uh, the hope is that we'll have at least another year or two of significant rainfall before we get to uh, another uh, exceedingly dry spell and stress the water system. So overall, Lake Casitas, this area looking pretty good here from the 150 on April 1st, 2019.